We're going to talk about nonlinear functions. And by nonlinear, I mean those things that aren't just straight lines. And you've seen some of these before. This U shaped thing here is what we call a quadratic function. And the basic formula for that is y equals x squared. You could add other things to this formula. You could multiply the x by something. You could add or subtract numbers to it. But the basic shape, if you've got a y over here and an x squared over here, is going to be this u. So that's a quadratic. That's the first in this little zoo of nonlinear functions we're going to learn. The next one we would call a cubic function because instead of x squared, it's x cubed. So the formula here is y equals x cubed. And it makes this funny little shape here. Um, it uh, touches the origin here and uh, uh, makes this funny little S shape or S on its side shape. Okay, so that's the cubic function. Let's look at a couple more. Next one is the square root function. So the formula here is y equals the square root of x. And you'll notice there are no negative numbers here because x can't be negative because you can't take the square root of a negative number without getting something imaginary. Uh, and so therefore y is never going to be negative. So it just stays in this first quadrant and it makes this kind of gently sloping, ever shallower slope uh, of a line there. So that's the square root function. And then finally, an odd one, we have this absolute value function. And the basic formula for this one would be y equals the absolute value of x. And you'll remember that when you put in, let's say, um, a 1 for x, you would get a 1 out for y. So there we have 1, 1. If you put a negative, negative 1 in for x, well, the absolute value of negative 1 is positive 1. So you get a 1 for y there. And so you get this sort of two-pronged antenna kind of thing. So those are the four basic nonlinear functions you need to know for right now. And let's look at a couple of questions regarding these. So the first one says, identify the nonlinear function type shown in the graph. And what we see in the graph is something that should look a little bit familiar. This is the cubic function. It's not exactly the, the same as y equals x cubed because that one runs through the origin and this one doesn't. It's been shifted a little bit uh, up or, t uh, yeah, shifted a little bit up. But the basic type here is cubic. So that would be your answer. This is a cubic function. It's really just about recognizing the shapes right now. The next one says, identify the nonlinear function type uh, shown in the graph. And we have this kind of gently sloping thing. Well, you should recognize this basic shape as the square root function. So correct answer for this one, square root. It's not just y equals the square root of x because it's been translated on this graph up to a different point, but the shape is the same. All right, let's try a couple more. All right, this next problem, type's probably a little too small for you to read here, but it says find the graph that best matches the nonlinear function f of x equals x cubed. And you know, you can in your head substitute in a y for that f of x, y equals x cubed. So we're looking for the cubic function. And here, this one, that's the quadratic. You should recognize that. This is the absolute value. This one's the square root. And this guy, this sort of weird elongated s on its side, that is the cubic function. f of x equals x cubed. All right, and one more here. This one says, find the basic equation representing the nonlinear function shown in the graph. And we've got this gently sloping thing that stays in the first quadrant. Hopefully you recognize that as the square root function. And the most basic equation for that function is just going to be y, or maybe f of x, equals the square root of x. And that would be your answer. So that's a little introduction to some of the basic nonlinear functions.